Bank Street teacher thinks about the whole child. So we think about the cognitive side of the child, the social, emotional, the language, the physical. Each child deserves to be known for who they are, what they bring to school, knowledge of the room setup, knowledge of the curriculum, knowledge of child development, all of that goes into getting to know children. I was at a place where I was thinking really deeply about children, but Bank Street really brings to light the idea that adults are at very different stages of their own development. Our curriculum is founded on principles of human development, either child development or adult development, depending on which course of study a student is engaged in. And that really is very unique. It really is the foundation of what we do, and it's reflected in how we think about curriculum development, how we think about meeting the needs of children, how we think about assessment. It's reflected in everything we do. Our entire school is steeped in the Bank Street philosophy of starting with concepts that are very close to children's lives at the younger stages. So in kindergarten, we start with me and our family. By first grade, we're moving out into the neighborhood and community. By fifth grade, we're sort of looking at historical context and how that has shaped our present day experience. The idea of what kids should study and how kids should study and whose voices get heard in a study really resonated with me. What I learned at Bank Street was to let the children drive the process. I have big ideas that I want them to get to, and I have a map of how we're going to get there, but I let their interests drive how the process plays out. We learn about the reasons why we're doing what we're doing. We also have opportunities to actually practice it in our classes and to bring that practice into our classrooms and then come back to Bank Street to reflect upon it. I'm a public school teacher, but I study alongside of charter school teachers, private school teachers, people who are educators but not necessarily teachers, people who are leaders. All of the instructors that I've had have really attended to matters of teaching to a diverse group of learners and helping teachers to figure out their own biases and assumptions when it comes to working with diverse learners. We have students from a range of socioeconomic backgrounds as well as ethnicities and they speak a lot of different languages at home. My time at Bank Street really prepared me to walk in there and actually see it as a resource and value it. We provide our graduate students with training in how to provide entry points to English language learners in order to give them the opportunity to have equal access to the curriculum in a way that they might not have. So the hope is that the teachers will take these, these strategies and will apply them to the different groups of, of kids that they're working with. You joke with your kids, you use humor, you get to know them personally. This child needs a visual clue. This child needs to be previewed about what we're talking about. To accommodate a student with a challenge in reading or writing is something that I learned how to do at Bank Street. Our school is inclusive by design. We study very deeply the practice of co-teaching. You might see my co-teacher and I working with two groups of kids who need different things. Everything we did in the graduate school was collaborative, from the group projects to giving each other critical feedback to developing curriculum units together. Students are often working together with their peers and learning really important social skills. You couldn't really make it through graduate school unless you could collaborate well. If you're a Lone Ranger, this is the wrong school for you. One of the most instrumental parts of my experience at Bank Street was the conference group. The conference group is a way for people to come together to share experiences and to help each other figure out how to move forward in a powerful, thoughtful way. I don't pretend to have all the answers, I don't have all the answers. We worked together to brainstorm and to solve it, and that was collaboration in action. We designed the school to be a small school so collaboration could happen easily. Families who have the time and flexibility in their schedule come in and read with a small group of children. We take a lot of time to really bring in the families to get a whole picture of the child. That sets a tone that we want to work with you. I want my leadership students to have the courage to ask hard questions that matter to them and follow those questions to a place where a certain action is warranted. 
In the research seminar that I took this year, I started with a question about how changes happen in schools with teachers who are resistant. Through the guidance of my professor and my colleagues here at Bank Street, I refined my study into looking at teachers as resistors of change and turning them into agents of change instead. We're hoping to hone the antennae of our students to be careful observers and then start to think about what might be effective intervention. A class that helped me think more deeply about children was my observation and recording class. In that course, you've got to follow a child for approximately two months and observe them in different settings and figure out what sort of learners are they, what supports can you offer them. And I found by gathering this data, it really did help me to understand this person that was a real inquiry-based experience. And it's not just for the sake of inquiry, it's towards a, ultimately a purpose of affecting a change. Advocacy was a topic that came up in almost every course in my Bank Street education. We were always thinking about how to get kids to ask questions about their world and how to take action. If a student doesn't have a voice in his or her own classroom, how could you possibly hope for them to have a voice in the larger society? It's not just knowing what advocacy is, but how do you move out? How do you move and advocate for a specific issue that's important to you? All of my graduate professors encouraged me to find my voice in the class. They created the conditions to allow me to be an advocate for myself and for my students. Advocacy and social justice, it's this core that runs through the veins of everybody who's here. Bank Street has six core principles that create the framework for the way we approach education. But in fact, the way those six core principles operate is interlocking and interacting. So that having a deep understanding of child development leads to our ability to meet the needs of every child. Understanding the context of a community leads to our ability to be an advocate for children and their families. It's the way we support the development of teachers and leaders today and the way in which they will support the development of their children and their students in the future. Thank you.